uh, the ROV team will take a closer look and hopefully have it back in action. So this is a backup camera that we have mounted in the same orientation. Yep, standard um, definition. Yeah, the quality is just a little less. Just a little. <laughs> ROV camera question. How do you set up the white balance of the ROV cameras? That's kind of a Dave question. Yeah. yeah. Dave's the wizard. Yeah. The uh, the one that we pay attention to most is the Herc uh, HD camera. Uh, and uh, we white balance it for the lights that are on, uh, on Herc. So we have uh, a white patch uh, on the manipulator arm. And uh, we zoom into that and white balance the camera. There's an auto white balance function. Um, we say this is white in this temperature of light. Uh, and then uh, for anything that's in the light pool, it's going to be more or less the same, uh, the right color, uh, if you will. Uh, but uh, the water absorbs reds, There's especially purple in there. Yeah, yeah I was going to say just and, about. And so as we uh, as we get further away from an object. Uh, you'll see that it's bluer. Uh, and so nearer in the light pool, it's going to be the correct color. And then further away, it's going to turn more blue. And there's not much we can do about that. So we white balance for the lights that we've got. Uh, because when we zoom into something... Dave, you want to push on in there, please? Yep, like right now. And <laughs> fly into something, uh, then it's going to be in the light pool and going to be the correct color. Is it Victor, Ooh, Victor, Victor Gorgia? Victor Gorgia. Say that again, what? Victor, Victor Gorgia. Gorgia. Victor Gorgia. Wow. I think. A wee yeah. little one. And there's there's a coral above this one that we haven't seen yet. Um the uh pull wide there, please. Yeah. That oh, like a oh yeah. Sprinkly one. Sprinkly. Looks we're getting close, yeah. We're those are mushrooms. We can have time as this worker worker on the summer. Just the one with the, on the lasers or the oh, lasers on right now. Is it a Chrysogorgia or it's just a very fine polyps, but I don't know what the structure is. That's what uh, yeah, I don't know. To me, it looks like a type of Chrysogorgia, but it also has really thick branches that are supporting it, and I don't, I don't know enough about it. Got any more push in there, Dave? Me neither. <laughs> um, so we have this local peak here that we've oh, kind of been please, surrounding that you can see in Argus, but there's a general um, upslope that kind of looks to be, I think, north-ish on Argus. So we could possibly just kind of track north, see if there's any other local peaks along the way. Yeah, sure thing. Just do that. Sure, yeah. Adam's talking to Bob. Yeah. yeah. We got permission from the back row. Sarah. Yep. Sarah <laughs> gave us permission, so we're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna be 50 meters north. 50 meters due north? Bridge now. Can we step five zero meters bearing north? Thank you. A lot more responsive up here now that we're 1,700 meters up. Yeah. Half the depth of our start. <laughs> Greetings to Marcy's fifth hour AP Bio class from Lawrence, Kansas. Thanks for tuning in. Adam is off the mic, but maybe some of you can help with this question. They yeah. said, we noticed we're on a different seamount and curious if we saw any differences between the different seamounts we've explored on this trip. As far as geo and bio? Yeah, probably both. Um, yeah, I think that they do differ. Um, I haven't thought about it all that hard to know, to remember which is which, um, but certainly the flow types change. Um, but it seems to me that it, it's really just that there are several types of um, morphologies that it takes on, and they're all quite patchy. Um, so it just kind of depends on which ascent. 
or what we're seeing. Um, we see a mix of pillows. This columnar jointing is not as common. Um, talus slopes, we see a lot. Um, and then sediment fields, some with nodules and some without. So we've seen all that on most of the seamounts. We also went up a different slope on the second one compared to the first one. We saw a difference, maybe that could have contributed to it as well. Difference, a um, different aspect of it. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So the different, like the sides. Mm -hmm. Big eel. Yeah. Adam, do you have anything to add as far as uh, differences between the seamounts we've yeah. explored so far on this expedition? Yeah, oh, you're listening to all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I think that there's been differences, but it's Good hard to tell. We've approached each seamount from a different direction, seen, been on different features, but... Uh, I think they're pretty similar in, from the geology perspective. Um, there's just a lot of variety on each seamount depending where you are. And a viewer is asking about our depth. You can see that on our nautiluslive.org page. It's currently 5,677 feet. So Adam, I think you missed that, but we have that local peak there that's to the um, to the port side of Argus. Oh yeah, that we kind of we, we kind of circled that with Hercules a bit. I made a note here in high pack about it, but we're seeing just some some faint returns in the distance along this flat summit, and just kind of like heading track. to the to the north or heading northeast? to the north. Yeah, right now the last okay. move was a north yeah. move. Um, just to see if that, right. if there's any more local peaks or if it's just a kind of general flat. Yeah, let's explore up here. Yeah. yeah. Question, do the corals grow direct, directly on the rock or on sediment on top David, of the do rock? a partial here, please. Uh, they like, from what I understand, the uh, rocks. And... The bigger the better. We've seen some corals that have outgrown their rock um, yeah. and toppled the rock over. It seems like when we find a big rock, there are a bunch up there. There's also a really nice top-down view of the columnar jointing. If we could get a look at that when we're done with the coral. Sure thing. Full wide there, please, Dave. It's going to be upper right corner. Oh, right. wow, yeah. You can really oh, see those that. hexagonal columns. Oh, yeah. Some are hexagonal. You can go ahead and do a partial zoom there. Yeah. Can we get lasers off too? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that columnar jointing occurs because the cooling causes stresses in the rock as it as it uh contracts because it, it shrinks a little bit when it cools starts to pull itself apart and that's like a low energy configuration for cracks to form pull wide there please dave Put the lasers back on there, Jake. So that's a hundred meter circle around Argus there. So as we go, we might find that that local peak is the highest bit. 
But it's just a little tiny, it's just a rock jutting out. It's not that large. Red. But in general, it's pretty flat up here. Here's a hurt question. Does Hercules have another camera in the back if you're reversing in tight quarters, like a backup cam? Oh. Yeah, it's got a, uh, we call it butt cam. Uh, it has, <laughs> it uh, looks at the uh, tether um, that connects Argus to uh, Hercules. Um, and it's used a lot for tether management, but also to see what's um, behind us uh, if we're backing up or um, traveling over large corals, you want to make sure you're not running into them or anything, or turning into them, uh, so that sort of thing. Dave, you want a partial here again? Sarah, what are the, um, what's the box size for the, the, the summit rock? That's great, thank um, you. Actually, we got something in every single box, so we're going to have to go for something smaller to fit in E or F. Okay, are those, are there big ones in E and F or not, not, not too um, big? Neither one oh, has wait, a size do. noted. Let me look through the other notes. Okay. So a, sm a smaller rock in general. Got it. Yeah. Looks like a fence of these corals, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to hop the fence. Yeah. Yeah, or else I'm gonna go around the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the gate? The gate's right there. Yeah, no size notes. We could, um, if there's nothing floaty in the boxes, we could take a peek before we pick up a rock, if we so we know what kind of size we're dealing with. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, nothing floaty. Nothing floaty. And Ooh. yeah, I really we were mentioned something flat. Told that shift change possibly forward by a box has something floaty. Yeah. Forward, forward we can't yeah. open, forward but we starboard can. okay. we can. Um, yeah, we could take a look at E and F and see our sure. size constraints. When we, uh, when we stop for that. Yeah. Are you talking about a location for a rock? Yeah, he was just wondering, like, what our, um, what's open. And our size constraints. Well, we're, we're gonna, yeah, we're still in the middle of a move. Uh, we are just now stopping the move. Argus probably has a little bit of swing to it, but we're... We're paused shortly, if you'd like to look around here, or we can continue on. No, I think I think let's try and grab one of these. Uh, the ones to the left. Yeah, up and up to the left. With this. Some of the columnar stuff. Yeah. Up our left, you said? Yeah. All right. There was a kind of a clearing with some angular stuff, but we'll have to really assess the size, I think, because they looked pretty big. And find something in there based on our box limits. Some angular bits down here. Yeah. Shrimp. <laughs> cool sponge down there. Yeah. So this clearing here is looking. Yeah, just uh, wag left and yeah. I don't think there'll be too much more Argus move. Yeah, like right. this this kind of stuff here. Roger that. Oh look, we have a weight to drop. <laughs> We're actually kind of floaty still, so we might not need to drop it. Good. Little stock. Yeah, and then another one over there, too. Looks like a small little version of the bigger ones we've been seeing. Yeah. Yeah, don't know if it's a different species or just a, a young one. Yeah. Jess, we're looking at, like, this, this, this. 
<laughs> so you're looking at all of them, is what you're telling me. Just one of... How many can you fit? <laughs> <laughs> just one of those. Okay. I see how this goes. All right, now pick a number one through ten, and I'll remember which <laughs> one. Yeah. Do you want to quick zoom on this before we start poking? Twelve. Can, Twelve. Can uh, we also look in the, bo in the box so yeah. we can get a size constraint? How about we do that right now while uh, folks are taking a look? Thanks, Jake. And yep. There's nothing floating in starboard, correct? Correct. Uh, yeah, ENF look like they've got a reasonable amount of space in there. Okay, sweet. For these size rocks. Yeah. Yeah, E might be the best option. Yeah. Maybe it's just the angle of the camera. So you'll have to get a good, right. good photos and notes. Full <laughs> wide there, please. To differentiate. Okay. Because um, it doesn't look like they'll stack one on top of the other in a yeah thirteen. No, no, no way. <laughs> Careful, Bob's pushing the screen back here, so <laughs> yeah. oh, I we're see. just gonna keep counting. I didn't know we could get up <laughs> to fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> we're not taking fourteen samples. All right, Jake, go ahead and <laughs> yeah. get the arm oh. up there. <laughs> <laughs> Try for that. That one. Yep. All right. Watch out for the sponge. Yeah, a little sponge. I'd right, go over them. <laughs> you want the one with the lasers on it, correct? Oh, uh, no, they pointed, they circled that one. That oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Nice. It'll come. Uh, glued down, yeah. Right. No, not glued. It's 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 Oh it's just there. stuck in the sediment. Tooth Maybe. extraction. Maybe how's your grip on that guy? Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. Pretty good. Can you go in a little tighter before spinning it? Yeah. You drop it down a little bit more, we can get more of a zoom. Lovely. <laughs> this is a lot like yeah. prices, right, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the one? Guys? This is the one. All right. <laughs> All right. Come on, Dave. Nice sponge clearing. Very nice. All right, switching over salvos now. Nice. You right. Yeah, E is in E. Right. <laughs> echo. E is in egg echo e. eggplant. <laughs> All right. Egg knock. Uh, what's the sample number on that? Zero nine seven. Zero nine seven, and we're gonna do a Niskin, correct? Correct. Niskin. Seventeen thirty eight. Watch the crawler. Yeah. You can also just tuck the arm away and then shoulder around. Dave, did you do something to the Argus view? Uh, we we'll Nope, just uh... Did HD uh, go back? Uh, it's because we hit the salvo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, nice Jake. Thinking. Good thinking, Jake. Good thinking, yeah. I occasionally think. Yeah, every now and then. <laughs> um, sorry, oh, guys. sorry, I'm behind on the two. times. Uh, nope, me too. Number one. Go number one. one. Number it's the only one. one open. Let's get one. Got it.
And pull rack back. Nice. Nice. And fired. Fired. Can someone talk about the Niskin sample? So uh, with each of the rocks collected for uh, Coralie Rodriguez's research, we're collecting a we just want to sample of water the, from uh, the same location. And so she'll look closely at the uh, oxygen content metal concentration in the water and compare that with uh, what she sees in the crust to understand how water um, chemistry and crust chemistry relate. Yes? Do you want to zoom on where the, the sandy hole there? Uh, where the sure. rock came out? Sure, why not? While we're here? And we can look at that sponge too? Maybe both sponges? Yeah, might push as well. Down in there, please, Dave. Nice sample, Jake. Thank you. That's cool. Small megalodon head poking through there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full wide there, please. And you wanted the sponges? Uh, both. Um, okay. I don't care which one first. Well. All right. Go ahead on in there, please, Dave. stock in that one and it's as far over to the right as we can get but hmm. little q-tip yeah that one's new i haven't seen that one before different color too yeah it's hard to see where the stock comes in is it like one of those mushroomy shaped ones all right full wide there please dave and then we'll go over here Go ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. Looks like he's got a little buddy in there, too. So, Adam, we're just going to be exploring around here for what's the what's the next game plan now that we've mount that we've summited yeah so i think we are going to explore around here for the next 45 minutes and then probably come off bottom uh, roger we want to look for a fossilized sponge if we can find some of the dead sponges yeah but i think we also don't have much room left for any more samples and we could put some more small rocks Maybe. Oh yeah, we got room for rocks. Room for rocks, and we got three surf jars, and four push cores. All right, so uh -huh. um, if we look in Argus sonar, that that peak there, we didn't quite get to the top of it, but we did interrogate around uh, around it, and I marked it. But I think we can kind of continue on to this to the flat east. Bit. Yeah. yeah, just want to go just due east and check it out. Perfect. All right. Due east, Raj. Due east. We'll go 75 meters due east. Yeah. Bridge now. Can we step 70 meters, bearing 090? Got to push it on this guy real quick there, Dave. our eye clayed bamboo mm -hmm. coral is that correct yes yes one more clay down <laughs> what's behind it yeah Any? some cool. closed Remember. polyps full wide there please one of uh, our viewers was asking about the transparent tubular object was that a sponge we saw that was a sponge yeah, yeah. sponge yeah. what's what's the little one <laughs> Left. The little sponge down there? No, the uh, there's a coral. Oh, where? It was right, it's right off to the left. Uh, just out of the lava. Is that it? No. Where are we going? Well, let's. Oh. One? 
That one? Oh, that guy? Oh, it's a little bit bigger, right up in the corner. Oh, yeah, that uh, guy's a gorget. Oh, it's a crazy gorget. I think it's a metallic gorget. Metallic Just gorget? kidding. Metallic gorget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Go ahead cool. and push that in there, please. <laughs> Look at the columns. <laughs> Jess, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this. I don't mean, is I don't mind getting shot down with my corals. But I don't know the clade. Got those little anemones or those hydro? Polyps are closed. There. There's definitely a little anemone on it. Is that bamboo also? Oh, yes, right, there's me. That is a bamboo coral. And I'll get over to the east because I'm currently full west right now. Oh yeah. It'll probably probably happen swiftly. Yeah. I also have a tether wrap I'll need to take out. Oh. That looks like uh, dead coral stalks. Sorry, folks. I'm just going to sort out a little tether wrap. I had a great question about coral larvae. I'm not sure if we can answer it, but I wanted to throw it out at least. Maybe we get some help. Do coral larvae remain dormant until they run into favorable conditions? And if so, how long could they survive hoping to find a good location? Steve. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah. This is a geologist watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need help. If you guys are wondering why I'm just steaming, is because we're just taking out a tether wrap there. Yeah. Um, good job. Uh, Jake, you can head east when you get a chance. Thanks, Jess. Um, just got it. We're going east. Doing too. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. It's massive. Huge. A coral wall. Wow. None shall pass. Yeah. No particle shall pass. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge. Where are the lasers on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are on. She gets lost in that Drowning out. Coral. Wow, yeah. They're so, so small. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's got to be several meters, a couple meters wide. Yeah, if you look at it in down cam, it's um, twice as wide as the vehicle. Wow. Yeah, about as long, longer. Wow, that's massive. It's a cool shot of the spiral coral. Yeah. Can we zoom in on those little lumps inside? See what the associates are? Little bumps. Raj. Can you push that in there a bit, please, Dave? Is it those associates? Or is it just Polyp a bunch density? of branches? Maybe it's just coming out in the Z direction towards us. Would that be the Y direction? Yeah, we, uh, X. Adam, do you not have your 3D goggles on back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can't tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That one center screen kind of looks like an anemone. Right. It's just like where a bunch of branches come out. Yeah. yeah. It looks kind of knotted there to the right of the screen. Oh, yeah. yeah, a little, yeah. Super cool. Sorry. All right. All right, wide there, please, Dave. It's just a wall, yeah. wall of fire. How old would an organism like this be? I would Any idea? Hundreds of years, right? Hundreds. hundreds. Probably thousands, I think. It's big. I know we're geologists, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
really just a blink of an eye in geologic time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a no credit. A viewer asked if we're worried about shining the bright light on these creatures that live their lives in darkness. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Some of them can move away, and some of them do. I would guess that the fish have photoreceptors in their eyes because they're usually facing facing away from us. Yeah. But I wouldn't suspect that. They sometimes tend to be disoriented too, it seems. Just a little. But yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, we'll swim into a rock slowly or something. Wow. This, this is gonna be the biggest yellow one we've seen. Yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah, really dense branches. Not really any kind of planar directionality, just just kind of all over the place. Could and do a quick partial here, Dave. That's good there. Just so you can see that base is awesome. All right. Go ahead and come wide when you're ready. Yeah, we'll have to. I'm gonna put the lasers on for a second. Just to get this clear. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'll bug you after this. Sorry, Renny. No, that's good. It's easier to stop up here too if we need to. Wow. So cool. Yeah, how yeah the base. Nice the base of that is 20 centimeters on that hole fast, at least. Yeah. Half one coral, half the other. How many did you say? It looked like the hold fast was 20 centimeters when we went over it. Okay. It was like, yeah, two 10 centimeters, which <laughs> I think. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's not be hasty. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we can take this, yeah, after. I was told there'd be no math. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get going. But that was cool. Yeah. I had to boogie pretty quick. Stand by while we go into blue. Blue mode. Blue mode. Oh, is that what you meant by blue mode this morning? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Still trying to I bring meant that my out. jokes were going to get blue, but uh, <laughs> I decided to get Or your that. jokes make us blue. <laughs> oh. All right, Jake, you want to keep coming down there? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any. Not too much ahead. So. I don't see anything ahead. Okay. All right, coming back down. Dave, we had a camera question. Can I keep coming down there, Jake? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you were asked, is the camera 1080, 2K, 4K, or a different aspect? 1080 HD, uh, 1920 by 1080, and 16 by 9. Heading is uh, of the vehicle is like 040. Yep. Uh, six, 66, yeah. That is. We're just uh, we're descending down a little bit. We were kind of getting that local local high there, and you can see it on Argus. It's behind us now. But whoa! Oh wow! Get him push on in here, please, Dave. Is that the what do they call it? A firework jelly <laughs> or something? No. I don't know. I don't know if it's that. Cool looking jelly. Yeah, oh, super cool. Yeah. Wow. Can't stop watching it. Wow. 
I know. Nice yeah. focus, Dave. So cool. Yeah, Dave, this is that's really nice. Earlier this year, I spent six weeks uh, doing pelagic transects and seeing hundreds of these guys. Huh. Well. So I have experience. <laughs> <laughs> Very pretty. Does it have something in one of its tentacles? I don't know. Or if that's part of it. Yeah, it looks like one of the tentacles is stuck in its mouth. <laughs> Or its brain, or its spleen. I don't know where the <laughs> organs are. In the are there organs? I don't know. Spleen? Just a single spleen. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full wide there, please, Dave. <laughs> awesome focusing. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> the spleen wow. was definitely the first really organ to develop an organ. <laughs> 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 Critical. <laughs> Looks like a ghost. So that ship move is. Uh, Complete probably another 10 meters or so in Argus. Um, we'll get down on the bottom where that is and kind of snoop around and then decide which way we want to go from there. Raj. So genus monosplenus. Got to keep coming on down there, Jake. Yep. Were the lasers on it? Did we get an, a size estimate on that? I don't know if the lasers would have okay. hit, hit it either. Sorry, we can't answer your question about how big it was. Didn't seem that big, though. Less than 10 centimeters. So a viewer is asking about Maybe what we're seeing, the organisms growing. These are all coral. There is no light down here, so there's no photosynthesis, which means there would be no seaweed. I. I believe uh, we do a quick turnover and go back up. Okay, this is uh, pretty clearly down slope. Uh, looks like we've gone on to the other side. We're now on the east side of the seat mount. Explored that bit. Uh, where would you like to go from here, back row? Uh, yeah, how about uh, nearly due south, maybe a little west of south? Yeah. Right. Cool. Will do. Let's go 205. Uh, yeah. Bridge now. Uh, step 50 meters, bearing 205. Thank you. So Victor Gorgia, some couple metallic gorgias, looks like three of them. That yellow one is the one that I'm that might be a uh, I can't say. Don't know what it is. Bigger Victor Gorgia. Some two zero five. Stalked red crinoids. This seems like the land of Shorties. single stalks, not fans. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that has to do with the substrate, just these little tiny rocks. It wouldn't support the large fans. The ground sloping away like that, it looks like you're kind of banked into the... <laughs> yeah. Especially when we roll in the ship. <laughs> so we're... I think that's the one, that yellow one that I'm 
We're about in the out. middle of the summit now. Uh, yeah, it's seeming like it's. I don't know if it's fully biased here to the, the most of the peak is to the west or if it's just there's some local highs that are to the west right but we're not back to those original highs that we went on no oh, i, I have yeah. this local yeah, yeah, peak I marker here that seemed to be the highest one that we've encountered and that was with argus's sonar 100 meters out so it was like that right so i think that that was probably the the peak but it was just a, a single outcrop but a lot of the general uh, peak seems to be on the western side of this contour. It'd be great to have circle. an AUV map. Kind yeah. Of res with imagery. That yellow one to the right. I'm just trying to see if that, what that was. It's a little tiny thing. Down. That. Yeah. Argus should be coming somewhat towards you soon, so you should be okay here. If you're not a little stretched out now. Just watch below you, there's a coral. Yeah. don't know. This is the one that I was wondering if it was a plexorid, but I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. Maybe we can get some help from Steve or Osako or it somebody. Yeah. It doesn't look as flexy. That's not one that's being encrusted by some other organism, is it? I don't, uh, I can't tell. I don't think so. Plexorid. Plexorid. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Indicated. Okay, yeah, might have to. Um, Argus is uh, heading, what, 205? Yeah. And so you're you're kind of to the, so we're going this way. So it'll be fine. It'll catch up with you. But if you want to frame up, you can be a little, a little more to your port. ROV pilots, can one of you take a question? Big Victor Gorgia there, the purple one. Some black corals in the background. Really using this prominence here. It's the one next to the black coral to the left. So if you go down. The pink one? Uh, no, it's just out of frame now. Oh. It's, um, now it's in the foreground right there. That little puffy one. Oh, it's a Just below and to the right of the lasers. Uh, just zoom in and we'll see. The, the one on the right, the, the Chrysogorgia looking one. Yeah. But I don't I haven't seen that morphology recently at least. Is it just a bottle brush one that like short Coming towards it us? It looks like a bottle brush one. Yeah. Uh, Those, it looks Rodana like, Is it another Rodana This one's not this one's less bushy, it sounds like a single yeah. single branch of it. Yeah, old fast there. Rodan or Richard. Can you uh can you also after this zoom on that cool crab that's in the black coral? It's just above where you are. There you go. 
Oh, wow. So pink. It's a cutie. Nice. Cool shot. Nice shot, Jake. Yeah. It's really a vibrant pink. Yeah. It's interesting on the black coral, the polyps down at the base are huge compared to the ones on the arm. Yeah. Juicy. Not the word of the week there. Found him. <laughs> so Osco also saw an acanthogorget there and an anthemastus. Nice. And a half I four off to the left. That's from Les Watling. Young colony, not too many branches. Of the uh, Rodana Ritagorgia. I'm, um, I'm, I'm guessing that's what I he was referring to. I don't know what the half I-4 actually refers to. I think that was the um, Isididae. Tall with some uh, like, yeah. candelabra at the top. Another big boulder here. It seems to be enough to support the fan. It's a fan club, I think. <laughs> yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, you know, we're just we're just not going to try on these by, puns. What did you mean by fan club, though? Because the rock <laughs> is supporting uh -huh. the fan. I Got don't want to explain my joke again. <laughs> 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 right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work on my puns, guys. I don't think they've gotten any better, though, over the past seven years. So There's no hope. <laughs> Thank you. It was pretty quiet in here, though. <laughs> that uh, ship move is complete. We got about probably 20, 15 meters left to Argus swing. Want to just uh, close the loop and yeah, go back? Yep. Sure. We'll just go due west. Jess or Jake, could you take a question? Yeah, let's do it. One of our viewers wants to know all the different you things you can where do. The corals are? All the different things you can do with the robotic arm. Um, all the things we can do with the robotic arm. Or just some examples of things that you use it for. Yeah. Um. I like when they do rock, paper, coral stems. <laughs> 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 the coral stems are fun. And this, on these manips, we have them specially outfitted with large blades. Um, and so that allows us to take some coral grabs, um, cut through the stem of the corals. Um, yeah, a lot of it's... Um, Biological sampling, but we also do a bunch of subsea instrumentation work, um, especially with ONC, so we can use other manipulator, other kind of end effectors to grab onto connectors, plug in subsea um, onto these instrumentation platforms. Um, I really want to get into subsea knitting, though, so I think that's going to be one of the next things we try out there. Great. Thank you. Maybe start with crochet. What's that Maybe one? crochet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that stalk. So there's Metallogorgia. I don't know what the spiral whip is called. Then this straight one up here. some barnacles on it or something hey can we grab that dead sponge that's on the on lower setup? right yep. to the right yeah, okay sure. i'm gonna hold up then bridge now hold position you might want to slurp that okay. one to uh preserve it i i don't know if it'll if Maybe. it's hard then it, it might get stuck in the hose yeah okay yeah, yeah. 
I don't know if that'll go around the bends. Yeah, the one to the right. Oh, there's one to the left. Let's do the one to the left. That one's a little bit nicer. And if I break it in half, we do the one to the right. <laughs> And get a good zoom on it before. <laughs> you need your forward skid, sir. We're still looking for our fossil. <laughs> Stick lock. Sorry there, Jake. Oh, you're good. I just pissed you off with the arm a little bit here. You want to get a zoom on that guy? Yeah, Faraday. Oh, looks like a parade of some kind. Parade? Uh, full rack back there, and then that might, uh, yeah. And then we won't be able to put this in the forward bin, just letting you guys know, but where we want to put this in the back? I uh, can't tell quite. It depends how big it is when you pick it up. Yeah, Roger. Myself all sorted out here. Let's not break it. That out. We got a grip force of three going here. It's like a magic wand. Yeah. Go ahead and push out in there, please, Dave. That's very delicate. The bottom broke off. Yeah. Go ahead and push out in a bit more. Uh, oh, too yeah. delicate. Too oh. delicate. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Could also use the scoop. Yeah. Well, if it's that soft, it won't preserve the morphology, but you could slurp it and I think it would break up and you get it, at least the spicules. Yeah, do we want, I think they want to preserve the integrity of this. Is that Yeah, as much know. as possible. I think. Yeah, so. Yeah. This will be a fun one to get in the star ribbon. Yeah. Uh, against the rock a little bit. No. Uh. All right, well, good thing we started the big piece, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this was the test piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a grip force down to two right now, but it doesn't seem to... Yeah, one I don't think moves the jaws. <laughs> yeah, one barely removes the jaws. What's that? Get right on it. All right. Uh, see if I can get this in my jaws properly. All right. I'm just going to toggle it, I guess. I'm going to push on in there. I've actually bit there, Dave, real quick. You can open up that starboard bin. Nice, we got a coral fence there. Yeah, we'll tell a gorgia. All right, full wide there, please, Dave. All right, 
You want to look to the right there, Jake? Reg. Yeah, that's probably if it can if it goes in E, that's probably enough. Well, let's put it in F, like you're moving around there. In F. Okay. Yep. Alright. <laughs> this is the moment where we're like, well, hope it's still in there when it shows up. Uh, you can see it in the bubble cam a bit. In the shadow of it. We might need to secure that thruster. But just be ready to. I don't know if we need to do it. Yeah. And if it is an E, is that correct? Uh, no, F. F Reg. F for fun. Bit more. All right, hopefully it's sinky. We'll get it as far down as we can. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Hope that rock doesn't toss around. All right. Looks pretty big. So it shouldn't move there, too Jake? much. That was a brittle boy. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Nice work, um, okay, we have 10 minutes if we want to left, that, if we want to still come up and uh, be on deck at 12 ish. <laughs> yeah, if that coral gets pinched, we can always open the box before we take off. Do we want to continue to go west there, Adam? Yeah, let's keep going west. We can get some nice shots on our way out. Of that okay. Zone. Bridge now. Five zero meters bearing two seven zero. In full wrap forward there, Jake. Thank you. There's a live version of that same one. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone talk about the purpose of the tether between Argus and Hercules? Yeah, sure. Um, so the tether is a very soft, well, we use it for communications and um, also giving power to Hercules. Um, but more importantly, or equally as importantly, I suppose, um, it's a very soft tether. And so it separates the motions of the ship moves and the kind of the heaves that we feel in the ship from the movements of Hercules. So, um, yeah, so it has many functions, but a lot of it's allowing us to have stable flying. Thank you. Looks so like this last move will be upslope. Going two seven zero. Roughly be approaching that local outcrop peak that we saw at the beginning. Push in here. So is this one a chrysogorget or a metallogorget then? Metallogorget, right? I yeah, I can't it looks like metallogorget, but I can't tell because we're Watch facing it. Uh, yeah, from the perspective of a bubble cam, it looks like Metallogorgia, and then the, s the s branch itself looks like the color of Metallogorgia. If you come a little bit back, you'll get more light on it. Yeah, but it's a big one. Metallogorgia melanotrachos. Yeah, there's one behind it as well. That's kind of showing off, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the metallogorges like have like that top plane morphology, whereas the chrysogorges 
that look similar to this kind of have like another layer, like more All right. puff ball at the top. What are we looking for? From what I understand of absorbing Steve's knowledge.